Bed Wars, a classic game about balancing offense and defense, as well as resource gathering. Without playing it risky or safe, it's a great game with a great flaw. The flaw is not about how it's built, but more of how it grows. Bed Wars potential has been completely wasted. About as wasted as that academic comeback you said you'd be working on. Yes, I see you with a D- in chemistry. Now, this is an outlandish statement, I understand, but here's my explanation, alright? Epixel Bed Wars has been the most popular Minecraft mini game for the longest time. Do you know what happens when something is on the top? Lack of innovation. Because if it's not broken, why fix it? In the Minecraft server niche, you have to be ever evolving to stay relevant. And Hypixel's golden child right now is Skyblock, probably. Bedwars has sank to the bottom, meaning Bedwars has not changed all that much. And I'm not talking only Hypixel. Almost every server is missing out on the potential for Bedwars to be the best Minecraft minigame. Why? Because they're capping the success of Hypixel, making a crappy follow leader to stagnation. I know Mindman has a modern Bedwars. I hear I can't access it, so it's whitelisted, so I don't know. But, uh, how do we fix this? Well, we could gaslight the entire community to enjoy the stagnant game. I'm just kidding. Where am I? Back on track, a YouTuber by the name of Trainer Dario made a video about saving Bed Wars, and he suggested updating to 1.20 and overhaul the entire game. Now, if I do it on another server, this leaves the 1.8 community on Hypixel, so it kind of works out with this video suggestion. To start, let's look at Bed Wars as a whole community and gameplay wise. I'll make this short because I'm sure you guys know what this is. Bed Wars is fundamentally a well made game, it makes the bed the most valuable, and it means you must defend it. If you spend your whole game defending the bed, you won't get materials from the more powerful generators, making it a game of balance between getting better materials, defending the bed, and attacking others. The only issue with this is that over-aggressive players are a little overrewarded, but it does stop newer players from having time to test things and have fun. That in itself is not really a problem, we'll deal with that another time. Let's give an example. Little Georgie here is trying Bedwars for the first time, and this is, well, we'll call him Pops. The 78 star, probably much higher, like 120 or something, Bedwars average player. Little George here, thinking a bed defense. Look how proud he is. Oh wait, never mind. You need to get past the wood part. That's the problem with the aggressive players at the rest community. Now that issue can be addressed later, as I said before, because currently the issue is a lack of content. The game doesn't change and people get bored. Simple as that. Regardless, it's not a video essay. So let's make this a weird time limit coding challenge, except that I can figure plugins. I started with an Eternal server because I'm broken. I then got some of the plugins I wanted to use. The Bed Wars 1058, World Edit, Multiverses, and I also added voice chat because, mmm. Then realized maybe I should get something for customization. Now, I had been using script for a while and I was very aware on how inefficient it was for the larger products, so I went looking for an alternative. I did not find one. There is one, but it's not on turn off, so I, I, I'll, I'll worry about it later. I got on, made a multi, made multiverse world, like I got the plugin and made multiverse world. It's, well, no, it's you have one world and one server, blah, blah, blah. And had some lobby difficulty before moving to a tutorial like a total normie. First thing the tutorial said was not to use multiverse. Oh, let's go nuclear. So I deleted everything and restarted, and then once I removed multiverse, it worked fine. I built a scope map because it's a newer feature, and I figured, you know, 1.8 doesn't have access to that, so I might as well. And I built this super amazing arena, guys. I'm a great builder. There are also amazing diamond areas. Oh. And then on to the bed islands, team shops, etc. I then forgot a spawn lobby. Made that. It was technically ready to go. Now I just need friends. I'm just kidding. That joke is overused as hell. I don't need friends. I need unwilling test subjects. Legal like, reasons this is a joke. I also need to just configure the shop for some fun items. Alright, day two, because you guys like story or something. I started by configuring the voice chat because it makes everything more fun. I increased the base distance from 48 to 60 because I figured it would be fun to talk across islands. I tried to add new items to the shop, but I could not look at them without the game starting. And my friend, and my, uh, the unwilling people would not appear when summoned. For some reason. But while I waited, I made axes not be diamonds since it would ruin the PvP scheme with overpowered weapons. So I just kept them wood and stone and gold with higher efficiency to make it balance. Added a crossbow and shield, then my subject got online so we could test. It went well... awful. The plugin did not work. I was not able to test it. It wouldn't even let us in the game. I think I'm gonna have to restart all of this work. Right, so I took this as a sign that maybe proximity chat wasn't worth it. So I moved to Minehut. You know, once again, free server. I'm sorry guys. So with Minehut, I could upload plugins so I could use script. I built an even crappier spawn, used the same plugins, and made an actual good map. Then I luckily had a random log on, so we queued up, and it just it, it just spam killed us. Just like just death, 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 death. We just continuously die. Turns out if the map is below Y zero, it insta kills you. I think it's like a faster void kill thing, so when you fall beneath a certain level, it just kills you. So you don't have to wait for the void to slowly kill you. It can probably be configured, but um, I just moved the island up. It seemed like the most straightforward solution. Then since the randoms left and my desk subjects 
were absent. I got myself logged on through my phone. It went smoothly, so I checked that shop to find it was completely gone. Like, the shop just didn't exist anymore. It, the whole, it was all completely broken. Apparently, Mindhunt just eviscerated my convict file for the shop. So I copied the one from Eternos, and I put it there, and I restarted the server. And the entire plugin stopped working. The lobby didn't work. I could not access any command in the plugin, and... All of my work was at stake since I couldn't access the world, which I just built the map on. So I looked at the console and it said the plugin was not working. No, duh. So I stopped the server, deleted and reinstalled it to find the same result. Except the console just stopped working. I couldn't see anything. So I quit for the night, ending on a huge loss. Alright, day three once again for your weird retention strategies. I opened the server hoping for a better day than yesterday, only to find out that not much has changed. The plugin was disabling itself, claiming it might be the wrong version. I checked the plugin and it said I had the latest version and that it had support for the version I was using. So I updated the server, no luck. I tried accessing the world using multiverse so I could down, so I could like copy it and move it and downgrade the server. It didn't work. As I was about to give up, I decided to delete the first place I saw problems, the shop file. And then I restarted the server and it booted up like nothing happened. Another plus is I'm on a newer version now. The issue was after testing was that the bed bugs and iron golems did not work. They would like, they, their custom AI was removed so the bed bugs could attack anybody and the iron golems wouldn't attack at all. The pop tower also didn't have a name for some reason. On top of all that, the generators were labeled with every language. So I decided I should just take a break and come back. Came back and decided to go nuclear again. Uh, it's in my name guys, I'm gonna bomb it. Okay, so I made a new server, put the plugin on and made a shitty map and tested it. And it worked just fine except for the pop tower's name for some reason, so I used world edit to get the schematics of the map on the broken server and just moved it over. I replaced the obsidian with crying obsidian, so I could use the obsidian for an item later. By later, I mean now. I then made a short script for the obsidian to make it so that placing it would spawn end crystal on top, making an instant end crystal like from Trainer Dario's video. Easy stuff. Then a random join, so I got to test it. Stuff was looking pretty good, besides names, so I destroyed the kid. Uh, wait, no, um, I beat the kid up. No, uh, I murked him. Easy win. And I moved on. I added a crossbow and a shield because new items equals cooler. Then I found out they have a wiki. So I spent some time reading through it to try to find and fix the name issue. I didn't find any fixes. So I went to their discord to go get an answer. And this legend, Gratana5, gave me the answer. I went and fixed the names. I had some fun descriptions. And it was actually working perfectly. Three days in, and I technically had one map and an entirely working game. Day four up. I won't bore you with too many details, but I made a lantern that gives all players around glowing to help find people that are hiding underground, because people don't like that. And then I made a supersonic warden blast. Yes, I actually added this. Once again, from Trainer Dario's video. Thanks to skills both showing me how to use vectors on the Minehunt page, I made it with little effort. It had a short charge up as well as balancing. But we're here to have fun, so I, I mean, its damage was, we'll, we'll configure the damage later. I then added a skull catalyst that would corrupt a bed defense for easier bed breaching. I might need some counter this later. I don't know. I don't give you a hoe, so it's not an instant mine or anything, so we'll leave it like that. I then added beehives for a cool variant of bed defense. These actually don't get corrupted by the skulk, so this might be the counter, because currently the skull corrupts everything except for obsidian. Not a productive day, but I was busy, right guys? Count me some slack. I think besides the fact I only have one map, I can drag some people over to test it. Day five, I forgot to say day four, but uh, yeah, retention. I wasn't able to do much on this day. I was very busy outside of the project. I didn't have any players to test on either. I fixed the beehives targeting, fixed being able to duplicate lanterns, fixed obsidian, maybe, I don't know. But then, some friends wanted to test, so I obliged. We tested a lot of things and found a bunch of bugs for me to fix. <laughs> Here, you wanna, yeah, go ahead, just like, start digging. Here, I got you. That's your dig. I also added an instant proximity mine, added the warden's keep map from my pre previous attempt on the Eternal server, Unfortunately, not a very good day for Bed Wars. Day 6 was a tragedy. I got online with the people we had played with on day 5, and we started making two more maps. Because I'll accept any help I can get. A war battlefield and a Star Wars themed map. After hours of building, we logged off. And after coming back, it was all gone. Practically every block. Setting us so far behind, it was pretty demotivating. I actually considered getting some sleep. But who the hell does that? I pressed forward remaking the entire map. Just the bunker one. It came out quite nice at least. I then fixed the infinite end crystal bug because the previous solution didn't work and then finished setting up the map making it so I had two four player solo maps and a six player solo map. They're all solo because my server probably couldn't handle anymore. I then added a bunch of add-ons to see if they would work but I would have to test those later. Day seven. Uh, I forgot the date or something so um, I didn't write anything down. So day nine. 
Uh, I know this is a weak product, but I added a cool map. It was finished and playable on day seven, so mission accomplished, guys. With this playable, we're just gonna play a fun game. Well, if this looked cool, show this video some love by, by putting your favorite medium-sized Bedwars YouTubers. I... the big ones scare me. Uh, if I got enough attention from this, I will buy a not-free server, fix all the issues we have, probably, add some cooler things, and get some YouTubers to play this less scuffed version of Better Bedwars.